guys, it's Ryan here from CNR Reviews. Uh, Chad's behind the camera today, he's not feeling well, so I'm actually going to be doing a shooting demo on one of his rifles. This is the Remington 700 SPS Tactical um, in a Hogue stock here. Um, this is a rifle that we have Duracoated, and I believe we have a video up about the Duracoating process. Uh, we normally buy our Duracoat from Lauer Custom Weaponry, and this is the Tactical OD Green. Is that is that correct, Chad? Yes. Okay, so now the tactical colors, they don't reflect as much as the regular Duracoat colors. And the reason why we ended up Duracoating this rifle um, is the same reason that we ended up Duracoating our other Remington firearms as well. And that is the black oxide finish on the Remington firearms for some reason likes to get some surface rust on it. Um, and actually if Chad could zoom in just a little bit on the bolt, the back of the bolt here, you can actually see some surface rust still on the back of the bolt because we didn't Duracoat that. Yeah, you so can that's see something that you guys do want to watch. Um, keep your gun really lubed up uh, in a, a, a dehumidified uh, place if you can, uh, just, to, just to prevent any, any type of surface rust. Or you can Duracoat it or Cerakote it or whatever you would like to kind of prevent that. So this is a bull barrel because it is the tactical version. Um, that means that it is not going to heat up as quickly as a regular barrel and it's going to allow you to do a more sustained fire than a regular hunting rifle. Um, it is um, holding here a Burris uh, full field, I believe it is, yeah. um, 4.5 to 14 by, it looks about a 50 millimeter objective on this thing. But I think, it, um, I think they call it a 40. It is really big. It, I believe it says 42, but it is way bigger than a 42, guys. Um, <coughs> Chad actually had a lot of trouble mounting this scope on this specific type of rail because of the objective being so big, and we'll go over that in the review. So um, I'm going to put five rounds down range. Uh, we've actually already shot all the today, so the barrel is still a little warm, and I'm going to show you guys. Once you warm up the bull barrel, how killer the groups can get with this thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and shoot here. We were able to actually call a range cold and pick up the target and bring it back uh, down here rather than just filming all the way up there and and coming back and you know so we were able to cut some time out of the video here. Now this is the group that I shot out of this. This is five rounds and as you guys can see four rounds of that are actually just about the size of a quarter if not less. And then I had one flyer just with nerves. I believe that was one of my first rounds, uh, if not the first round that I shot. And it was not too shabby at all, man. So. Well, so what do you think of that compared to like um, a hunting gun like the American? I know, I know this one does have the bull barrel. What this do you one think? does have the, have, have the bull barrel. So I, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing the group stay tighter for an extended period of time over the hunting rifle, which has a thinner barrel which uh, will heat up and then those groups will actually spread out to from what we've seen specifically with the Ruger American we've seen the groups spread out from about an inch to uh, about three to four inches even, maybe even close to five at some points when we've when we shot upwards of about 15 20 rounds out of the gun um, we actually just shot about 15 rounds before I shot these five out of this gun so that would make it 20 rounds within about a couple minutes and uh, and we're still getting that type of group out of this weapon. So the 
the accuracy of, of the Remington 700 SPS Tactical is blowing me away, honestly. It's it, it's a very accurate weapon. It's, it's more accurate than I'll ever be. Guys, that was the accuracy demo on the Remington SPS Tactical 700. Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Uh, we have uh, over 400 videos on our channel. Um, so check up CNR Reviews wow. if you are interested in any other videos. Uh, thanks again. This is Ryan and Chad from CNR Reviews.